Hey everybody. So today I'm out here with Kate. Yes, Kate. <laughs> Sometimes I get them mixed up. I'm out here with Kate and we're doing some single training. Uh, kind of like we was doing the other day in the woods. The difference is today I'm using my handy dandy skitter tire. Uh, it's got blocks and concrete and rocks and all kind of crap in it that we've cleaned up on the farm over the last while. And as y'all can see today, today i'm just using one line and kate's already broke the one line alice i haven't worked her to one line yet but i'm going to uh but you know pretty simple setup uh there's a g-string right here and i'm gonna put a link in the description below so y'all can go back and watch our one line uh our one line training video uh that i you know i go through the whole setup and caboodle, you know caboodle the whole nine yards on everything and that'll teach you everything you probably need to know about one line if you're interested in it but what i'm trying to accomplish here today uh is one to 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 lug her a little bit get her where she's stronger keep her in shape uh we've got a deck of logs already out but the mill's closed so we can't we can't get no more logs out right now uh so our next thing that we're doing is i'm keeping my mules in shape by dragging this tire and i'm working them single which is gonna teach them to I'm working on teaching them to start a load slower and easy, get up in the tra trace chains and squat, and then once they got it on their hips, go on. I'm working on that. Uh, just general listening to me. You know, when I say ha or ji or whoa, you know, come up, whatever my command is, I'm working more on getting them to mind my voice and what I'm asking. And you wouldn't believe it, but now I'm telling you, that one line right there, you can really make one mind you with it. And the reason being, is because whenever you know the way that it works steady pull goes left a little jerk a little pop on the line like that a little pop makes them go right and when you speak to them long enough giving them them commands followed by the signal of the line they get to where they mind you a little bit better because that little pop on their you know on their bit is a little more severe than just pulling on a line it's not way more severe uh I guess if you really jerked it hard it could be bad but the term jerk line and the way it's worded sounds worse than it actually is when really all you need them to do is just just a little flick of your wrist like that and it'll make them go gee it's really simple i like using it in the woods because you got one line in one hand and i can grab my tongs in the other hand and it just makes things easy plus it don't get tangled up on everything if you want to turn them loose and let them go on their own for a little ways it don't get under the logs is easy and it don't get tangled up on stuff so that's just my personal opinion but now one thing i've had to work on with both of them is i'm wanting them to start a load easy i don't want them to just run up there and hit it you know now sometimes i want them to hit it kind of hard to get it broke loose but generally speaking y'all there's no reason to jerk a load you know there's just no reason for it the best way to teach an animal to pull is to hold both lines let them come up in the traces and when they get tied and get it up on their hips and kind of go to squatting then you tell them all right or come up or go or whatever your command is and let them go on with it and that's what we're doing here with this and this is cool because you know this is about an 800 to a thousand pound tire with all this concrete and rocks in it and we got you know out here in this field at my neighbor's uh there's a trail that goes around it and y'all can see the trail and y'all get to see more about it in a minute it's got a hill like right here there's a hill that goes up through there and it goes all the way around down back yonder and drops off in the bottom uh so we've got hills that'll give her more of a challenge to pull plus when she goes downhill she'll get a break i can set on the tire and add 300 more pounds of weight to it you know to make it more challenging for her so it's a highly adaptable way of training and it's a good tool to keep them in shape all right so I'm going to change cameras here and get one on my head so I can drive and y'all can walk along with me. Okay, so now the first thing that we want to do here, y'all, we want to take off going on down this trail like so. But I want her to ease into the load. In other words, I want her to get the trace chains tight. And when her single tree comes up and gets tight, get it on her hips where she'll squat a little and then I'll let her go on. But until then, I kind of want to hold her a little bit. And y'all, holding them, holding them steady with one line is a little bit of a challenge. You got to kind of, you got to kind of like shake the line and pull, shake the line and pull, shake the line and pull, because that keeps her head going to the right. And then you pull a little bit, that keeps tension on her left side. 
uh it, it's a little challenging but you can do it with one line uh but that's the idea i want her to walk off slow so let's start that first all right kate listen to me kate come up easy easy all right now see how she just kind of got it up on her hips now this ain't a heavy enough load for her to really really get it up on her hips uh because it don't take much for her to move it uh but i think y'all can kind of get the idea of what i'm trying to accomplish you little kate you little see just a little flick of that line is enough to make her get over it don't take much at all and the response of your one line y'all has a lot to do with how tight you got that g-string up there on her right side if they're not paying you no attention whenever you pop this line then your g-string is probably not tight enough if they're walking too fast then you need to tighten your g-string up and hold a little pressure on your drive line it's kind of sort of the same thing as driving with two lines you know if you want them to slow down you pull both of your lines tighter well that's kind of the idea with the g-string too you know you tighten your g-string up hold a little more pressure on your drive line and you got it made see right now she's walking on a slack line and that's what i like i don't like having to hold a pair all day long when you're working them in the field for eight hours or ten hours or you're working them in the woods for several hours throughout the day if you get a pair that pulls hard on you all day long it'll wear you slam out y'all trying to drive them so i like mine to drive like this but for those of you that lock them up on the bit and pushing a bit hey that's cool everybody's got their own style of driving this is just the way i like mine and one reason i like mine that way is because i can do this see i mean that just shows you how much i'm doing I'm not, I'm not having to do a whole lot. See what I'm saying? This y'all is why I like them to walk on a slack line. Is because I can turn them loose and they'll still pull a load without charging. You know what I'm saying? Somebody told me, said, well, my lines is my gas pedal. I said, no, your lines is your brakes and your steering wheel. Your gas pedal is your mouth. You know, if you need them to go faster, you kiss to them, cluck to them squall at them whatever it takes that's how i do it now you know if you want to use your lines as a gas pedal that's fine whoa see how she stopped without no pressure and that's what i like now this tire here is not really a big enough load to justify giving her a lot of brakes but here's the thing let's get right in here and sit down now she's got more load all right kate you little all right easy there you go good girl see how she got that got that on her hips first she got her trace chains tight and got her hips in it and then she went on and that's what i want i don't want them jerking the load because that's dangerous especially when you hook in a set of tongs you know if you have to if you have to hold them tongs a little you know while you're getting a log hooked and sometimes you will especially on a small log or a or a slick bark log like a beach or something like that if you have to hold them tongs and get them to step off you know sort of sort of clamp together it's really dangerous if you get a team that just boom and just hits it you know hard <laughs> she thought i said whoa uh that's all right we'll give her a little a little bit of a break we're kind of going i don't know if y'all can see but right now we're going downhill so me riding this tire down this hill ain't no big deal at all uh, she's just clipping right along <laughs> all right kate easy easy there you go good girl she didn't hit she didn't do quite as easy as i wanted her to but that's why we're out here doing this y'all that's why i'm spending the time putting in the hours because this is going to make my mule team a lot better when i put them back together they'll listen better and they'll mind me better and they'll do what i say <laughs> they'll be stronger too because they're not they can't depend on one another right now right now they're the they're the main part of the operation it's up to them to keep the load moving when they're in a team one of them can slack back a little you know one can you know they can uh get kind of lazy and one can lay back they ain't no laying back in this this right here is they got to do it all on their own and that's why i'm working them single it's my whole point behind it 
Plus, I want them to learn how to really pull hard and stay with it. That's the main thing is staying with it. Go ahead, Kate. She does a little bit better about staying with it than Alice does. Alice, Alice pulls better, but if you ain't careful with Alice, she'll, she'll just let up all of a sudden. You know, Kate, uh, Kate lugs down. She's kind of like a big Detroit diesel. She'll pull hard and hard and hard and hard and hard and hard and just keep lugging right on down until she stops. You know, uh, which is kind of good. It gives you a little bit of a warning. And you don't want to you don't want to run them out of wind, y'all. You know, you got to have some sense about this. You know, uh, you want to pull them and and let them uh, let them pull, but then you want to give them a break. Stand up. Whoa. See, now I want to give her a break, but I want her to take a break on my watch, not on hers. Uh, that's that's the main thing that I'm trying to accomplish here. She's not real bad about that, uh, but now Alice is. Uh, like I say, Alice will pull harder, but she'll also take a break a lot quicker too. <laughs> so, uh, Kate's pretty stout though, and she's actually a little, Kate's a little, little heavier than Alice is. Uh, now right up through here and i'm gonna just walk around here where y'all can see and i hope my gopro is is uh cooperating it's cold outside and apparently gopros don't like hot weather and they don't like cold weather uh, but right up through yonder y'all it starts up a hill it ain't a bad hill but it's a hill and our log job is right over there on the other side of our property and it goes it starts down here at the back and goes all the way up the hill all the way up yonder to Mr. Nelson's barn, uh, which we're basically done with this log job, more or less. Uh, we've got a few more trees to cut, uh, but we're gonna have to get a machine in to finish it, to finish them, just because of where they're at, they're on the fence, and we're gonna have to get a machine to help us for a day or two, and then we'll be done. Uh, but let's go ahead and pull this hill and I'm gonna ride the tire just to give her a little bit more load. <clears throat> the idea of this, y'all, is to let her scratch and pull, don't run her out of wind, and give her a break before she decides she needs a break, if that makes sense. Now, sometimes, like Alice, Alice will decide she needs a break before she really needs a break, if that makes any sense. So, it's a balancing act between them pulling good and me knowing when to stop them and let them blow let them get some wind if that makes any sense all right Kate. easy all right you got it see how she started easy got it up on her hips and pulling these heavier tires like this with this concrete in it that'll help them too you know the more you do it now i just want to keep her moving yeah little Kate. yeah it's a little slick right here on this left side. Yeah, little, yeah, little. So I want to keep her in the middle or over to the right side because she was slipping a little bit earlier. I've got shoes on her, but this mud here is a little slick. Whoa, whoa. All right, now we want to give her a break. Uh, but yeah, right up through here on this left side, my kids have been riding four wheelers and stuff in here. And uh, right up here on this left side, it's a little bit muddy. And uh, when I come through here earlier with her, she was slipping a little. So uh, I want to be conscious about that too. And I'm gonna tell you something, y'all. When a mule or a horse, when they go to slipping, uh, they will shorten their steps, kind of like we do. You know, when you hit ice, they will go to short stepping, and they will also quit pulling for you. Uh, they're not stupid. You know, they're not gonna hurt yourself. And mules are more keen about that than horses are. They're just they're not gonna hurt yourself for you. And I don't blame them. Uh, but if you can keep them from slipping you're better off and that's just like with her i knew it was a little slick right there so i moved her over in the middle in that grass and she could get a little bit more traction they're due for a shoeing uh i actually need to get them in the barn and and uh pull her shoes and trim them and reset them right now actually all right her breathing has calmed down which is good you know when you you can tell when you're really overworking one y'all if you're pulling a hill like this or dragging something and they're really scratching the pull hard and then whenever you give them a break if they're just standing there blowing 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 and it takes forever for them to recover 
they're not in good enough shape to pull the load that you're asking them to pull and you either need to lighten your load or you need to take more breaks if that makes any sense all right kate listen to me kate come up come up kate easy all right good girl now she done good again that's what we're looking for when you got go ahead you got it she thinks i'm saying the w word go ahead hey all right whoa i kind of confused her with me yakking here well, that's all right she stopped because of me not on her own accord and that's what we're after anyway that's what we're after so y'all uh i'm gonna include some of alice in too i'm not sure if i'm gonna do two separate videos or one long video uh, i'm not sure how i'm gonna do it just yet but it's th this is basically what i'm doing and what i'm trying to accomplish here is uh just slow steady pulling starting slow staying slow walking easy you know listening to me jen hall and uh you know i'll get up there in the yard in a little bit and i'll turn her left and right you know and do figure eights and all that you know this doing it with this one line uh figure eights and stuff is real good for them uh but i, I try not to show you all the same stuff over and over and over and over i don't want it to get boring to you i want you to you know be able to keep something fresh coming so that's what we're doing today in an attempt to to give you all something uh inter intercational i guess you could call it entertaining but educational at the same time <laughs> buck and billy ray smith if y'all don't follow him on youtube y'all you should check him out he's funny as crap uh he said that his son calls him uh edutainment you know his channel because he's funny but he's you know he gives some good tips about chainsaws and whatnot if you like trees and cutting trees and logging and that kind of thing he's he's a good channel to check out <laughs> all right kate listen to me kate kate come up i had to get her attention first she kind of zones out while i'm talking and that's all right i don't hate her for it <clears throat> Go ahead. Gee, little. Gee, little. Get over there, gee. All right. I don't want her getting on that left side over there. I don't want her to start slipping. All right, she's got the hill made. Now, now we're getting back up here more on flat ground. You little. All right. Whoa. She's wanting a break, y'all, so we're going to have to give her some wind. And that's perfectly okay. I mean, when you're pulling heavy loads, you know you want to you don't want to run them out of wind that's the biggest thing and if you can stop them before they stop you're ahead of the game for sure so uh i'm gonna do a little bit more lugging until we get back around here toward the front of the field and then i'll get off and kind of give her a break for a little while and just let her pull this tire but i think y'all get the idea of what i'm trying to accomplish here uh we've had several good examples of what i want her to do and for the most part she is doing what i want her to do and the big thing about what i'm doing here y'all it's gonna it's gonna get her a lot stronger you know it's kind of building her up real slow it's not as heavy as a log is or some of the logs like we was pulling the other day it's not quite that heavy but i can change the geometry of this tire and how hard it pulls by sitting on it you know or throwing some more rocks in it or you know lightening it up whatever i need to do you know that's pretty neat so it works good for a training tool all right kate 
Listen to me now. Okay, come up a little. Okay, come up. All right, you got it. Mother mules. Get up. Mother mules messed her up coming up here at the fence. And two, she's getting tired, you know, so that's got a little bit to do with it. Gee little. Get out the weeds. Gee little. Stand up. I'm trying to get them to where they'll, you know keep going instead of just stopping which sometimes she thinks i'm saying whoa so it messes her up too so talking and working her is kind of a challenge at times but this will definitely help her a lot all little she wants to go back home stand up i don't care if she walks real slow but I want her to keep moving. I don't want her just to stop when she wants to. And right now we're going downhill. So she can kind of get a little bit of a rest. She's not having to pull as hard going down this hill. Gee little. Gee little. You. Gee little, okay. Okay, gee little. See, now I let her, I, I give her the chance to do it by my voice. And then when she didn't do it, I use my line. I only use the line when I have to. Now, whoa, whoa. All right, now she stopped, so I'm gonna get off and uh, give her a little bit of a break by not having to pull me with her, with the tire. And that'll help her a lot too. So see, I can change things. It's highly customizable. I can change things and make it, you know, hard or easier or whatever. All right, Kate. Kate. Listen to me now, come up. Listen to me, stand up. When they get tired, they get a little less willing to listen to you. So you, or when I say they listen to you better as far as stopping and jeeing and hawing, they just don't want to go uh, as good. Whoa. And when they don't, you know, I'll take my line, I'll come up here and I'll do this. All right, Kate, come up a little, come up. As soon as she settles back in, she'll walk a little fast for her. Go ahead. She'll walk a little fast. Go ahead now. She'll go a little fast for a little bit. And uh, as soon as she settles back in, whoa, I'll tell her stop. And then I'll come up here behind her. I'll get me a little bit of my line, and you ain't gotta hit them hard, y'all. All you're doing is just tapping on them. You just kinda wanna make them realize that, hey, you're speaking to them. All right, Kate, come up. See, I don't wanna hit her hard. I just wanna give her enough to let her know I ain't playing with her. And then when she settles back in, whoa, whoa. stop her. All right, now come up. Now, see how much better she started? She walks off nice and easy. You don't want to get after them too much to make them go because then they'll start jerking a load and that ain't that ain't no good. That's as bad as standing there and, and not going, you know. Uh, so you gotta be, you gotta have a balance with these things. Whoa. Let's try her one more time. All right, Kate, easy. Now see there, see how much better she did? And she's tired, y'all. But she's gotta know when she gets tired, she's still gotta mind me, she's still gotta listen. 
And that's why I'm doing this. That's my whole purpose. Go ahead. That's my purpose behind why I'm doing all this. It's because I wanted minding me. Gee little. Gee little. Now see, I give her a chance by my voice. And when she didn't, I made her go with the line. Gee little. Yep. Yep. There you go. Now that time she did it on her own. Gee little. Gee little. A little bit. All right. Whoa. Now y'all, I hope you've enjoyed this little bit with Kate. Uh, you know, it's just training. You know, you gotta spend time with them. The more time you spend with them, the better they get. Just like when they're in their woods. When they're in the woods, the more they pull logs and move through the timber, you know, and hit brush and limbs and stuff like that. And hearing a chainsaw run, the more you do it, the better they get. You know, and we're still in the beginning stages of this single stuff, so they ain't got nowhere to go but up from here. Hey, thank y'all for watching and hanging out. I can't tell you what it means to us. I like hearing from you. You know, drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Hey, and let me know what you want to see. You know, if there's anything in particular that y'all want to see uh, that maybe I haven't showed you, let me know. Because, you know, I need video ideas also. And, uh, you know, I would love to hear from you, connect with you. And, uh, you know, I hope everyone has had a good Christmas and a good New Year's. And, uh, you know, getting ready to go back into to work and everything. I just want y'all to be careful and uh, have a good year, okay? Y'all take care of yourself, and uh, we'll catch you next time.